So you join us today at this park up, it's in the grounds of a monastery and after leaving the UK in horrendous weather, driving to Belgium, then through France down to Spain, when we made it here it was just, it was like winning the lottery, it's so beautiful. And even though the afternoons get to about 18 degrees, the night times and the mornings are very cold. Last night it went down to 2 degrees, I had my diesel heater on. But today we do need to move on, we're trying to get further into Spain to get the much warmer weather, but we do need to fill up with water. So we've been told that there's a water point right by the monastery. <laughs> So we've just been trying to fill the vans up with water and it's a nightmare because the taps here at the monastery, they haven't got the screw things on that you normally attach your hose. So we're having to like push the button and just fill our containers and try and fill the van from the containers. But just, it's an absolute nightmare. But we have managed to get a little bit in there so that'll do for now until we can find another water point somewhere else. What an amazing, quirky little park up that was. But I'm absolutely buzzing at this wild camping lark. It's just like the boat when I stay in all those beautiful spots on the boat. It's just amazing. <laughs> oh! So it's been so wonderful today driving through all the orange groves with the mountains in the distance but we need to go and get some groceries because I'm completely out of rum so that's number one on this list today. <laughs> so we come to the supermarket look how cute our little trolleys are they are just amazing we're loving them. So we've both got our supplies, but I'm actually looking today now for some rum. Let's hope they've got some rum that's a bit different. Two euros a bottle. Seven euros. In the search for the rum, we got all excited at looking at the prices of the wine and the spirits compared to the UK. Oh, I could live over here easily. So with the aid of Google Translate on the phone, we found out this is the rum section. And I'm going to get a bottle now, an eight year old age rum. And I've also got a bottle of white rum, Malibu, because it's a very holiday drink, isn't it? Ooh. So that's two bottles of rum today. So that's the supermarket just done now. All the rum supplies on board. And Sandra's staying around here for a little bit. She's got some things she wants to do. So I'm going to head off now and find the next park for night spot for tonight. We had a look and it looks like there's a barbecue area. So we've bought some barbecue food. <laughs> I'm excited and she'll join me in a few hours. So it's just me and my co-pirate today. sat nav has took me down this dead end sheer drop there oh, bloody hell that means i've got to reverse onto a big road bloody hate reversing this van but he's looking at the sides i'm a wuss maybe with my last vlog I'll come both ways. Oh, loads of cars coming in on one day. So finally, after Satnav took me halfway around the world and almost threw me off a cliff, we've made it. 
and it's lovely here. Me and Bonnie have just been for a little bit of an explore. And the reason we chose this park for night location was because they've got the tables and chairs. And also we think, we hope there's a water point here. Praying. Anyway, we're going to just go into the van now, chill out, have a tidy up and wait for Sandra to come back from her adventure. Are you waiting for the boys to come out, Bonnie? So Sandra's just arrived back. She's been to an orangery today. So have a look at all the things that she's got here. Look at them. She's got some liqueurs. Orange mandarin liqueur and a bottle of champagne, orange and vodka. Ooh, and a mad. bounty of healthy stuff as well. And she's got some things for me to try. So the one that looks like a little orange, I've forgotten the name of because there's 300 different varieties of orange. But it's a bit weird because you eat the peel, you eat the skin. So you have to bite into it and eat it up. Oh, very tangy. <laughs> it's lovely though. It is nice. It is nice. I'll, I'll put it over here. And what's the next and one? This one I brought for you specially because it's a kumquat. I knew, I knew you'd like the a name. A kumquat? You must have heard of those. And do we eat this one with the skin as well? You eat it whole. Apparently you can freeze them and then you can have them in your gin and tonic, but I want you to eat it. Mm. Oh, that's quite nice. That's really nice. Mm. So, yeah, kumquat. I thought you were going to drink it from the bottle then, Sandra. I thought about it. <laughs> Ooh, looks nice. So, she said it was vodka, champagne and orange juice. There we go, let's try this. Carl just arrived there. Might be a bit of dog in here tonight, Sandra. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Oh, it's nice. <laughs> well done, Valencia, in your oranges yeah. that we've been seeing all day. This is our first barbecue of many. I love barbecues. At the moment, we've not seen any doggers. <laughs> so we're just leaving now. I managed to find another public tap. It's not really one for filling your van up, so the hose wouldn't fit again. So I was holding the hose at the, the tap. Sandra was holding it in my hole. And it was squirting everywhere, I got drenched, but I managed to put another load in now for another shower tomorrow. I had a shower this morning and it was it ran out on me. So I put enough in just for another shower in the morning and then hopefully over the next day or so we're gonna find a proper filling point. It's fun because everything is a challenge, but not in a negative way, it's an adventure. And that's what I love about boat life and now with van life. Keeps you on your toes. climbing here <laughs> it's beautiful but my old van she's struggling lean forward come on old girl shit bloody hell put the trailer cars behind this is stunning absolutely stunning So we did some mountain climbing in the vans, but wow, it was worth it for this view. It is just spectacular. So we're gonna go now for a nice big walk with the doggies, and maybe get some lunch, and then I'm not sure where we're gonna do the park up tonight. We'll see, that's part of the adventure. But first, the reason why we came here is it's a very popular spot just south of Denia, and lots of people recommended this when I asked in the YouTube comments. There's also a disused lighthouse here, but it was such a fantastic place to stop and put the kettle on. We've now found out that there's a service point about 20 minutes away, so we're heading there now to empty our toilets and fill the van with water. So 
we've been able to empty our toilets, which has been fantastic. However, we've not been able to fill up with water because the tap again is one we can't attach a hose to. If anybody knows of the connections that we can get for these taps or ways of accessing those, let us know. So this is just like narrowboating, isn't it? <laughs> we haven't been able to fill it with water, but we did empty the toilet. You know, and it's a shame about those taps because if they did have the hose connection on, that would mean we could just be off grid for this entire trip. But it may mean now that we have to find a campsite at some point just to fill the water tanks. This is the joys of adventuring. And my little old van's just hit 70,000 miles. I love it when the clock goes to like a proper number like that. 70,000. That's not this trip. That's just in a whole lifetime of 23, nearly 24 years. Yeah, not bad that. Still loads of life in the old girl yet. So this isn't bad for a park up, eh? Right on the sea again. Sea view out the window. This is another free park up. There are other vans here, so it probably feels a bit more safer. We do love our remote park up, but this is just beautiful. So apparently it's only a 25 minute walk into Alicante itself from this park up. We've been speaking to a few motomers and also they've said we can stay 48 hours. Though that would be really nice to stay overnight and actually not shoot off first thing in the morning but to actually take a leisurely stroll into Alicante, have some breakfast and explore the town. So I think that's what we're going to do. So we've come to this little bit of a tourist attraction, it's called Mushroom Street. Mushroom Street is actually its nickname, it's actually called Cali San Francisco and it was as simple as the street just wasn't doing very well um, so they put these mushrooms up and it became a tourist attraction and then the trade in the shops picked up. And it may look quite quiet here today but that's because it's a Sunday morning. So we've just got back from visiting Alicante, it's an amazing place, so much to see and do, you couldn't possibly do it all in one day. However, for Sav and Sandra, we're not really city folk, so just after one day in a busy city on a Sunday, we're ready to find some more lovely little quirky park-ups. Yeah, and also, we need to get water still, we need to fill these water tanks, so tomorrow we're going to head off, try and find some other lovely park-ups and fill these water tanks. <coughs> So today I woke up to a very hard banging. Yeah, not in a good way. The police have been round. They're still here now. They've been banging on all the vans, telling us they've got one hour to leave. So yeah, so I feel very, very naughty. And we thought this was a legit spot because it was on the Park for Night app. So I don't know what's going on. There's loads of vans there. So yes, yeah, so we're all getting ready to move. So we're on our way now and I feel awful. I hate breaking any laws. We didn't do it intentionally. Ooh. Life on the road, eh? It's not that me and Sandra are deliberately breaking any laws or anything. It's very different over here to what it is in the UK. You can wild camp very freely. It's just that we're not really campsite people. <laughs> It's the same on my narrowboat. I'm not really a marina person. I'll go in if it's a necessity, but I like moving when I want and waking up to new views. That's what I love about traveling and seeing all these lovely, quirky places. It's 
So today we've come up to see this amazing Gaudi inspired building which was built by the locals because we missed doing any Gaudi things in Barcelona because we were on a schedule and saw the Festival of Kings. Um, so inside's actually closed but they're trying to restore I think the world's only marble organ and they're raising funds for that so I think that'll be spectacular once it's done. I love a good Sandra fact don't you? Anyway we're heading now to get a little bit of lunch. Yeah but what an amazing spot to stop at, eh? So I've just had the most gorgeous, lovely long shower. None of this soaping myself up and showering myself off really quickly. A long, amazing, luxury shower. And that's because we stayed on the street here last night, just outside this house that I'm in now, which belongs to Vincent and Kathleen. They're a gorgeous Irish couple. And they said we could fill up with water, we could have a shower, we could charge any electrical devices we wanted to. And these are a couple that Sandra's met previously. And we were explaining that we were passing through this way and they invited us here. So it was a great little park up. We also explained our water dilemma to Vincent and he got out his big floppy hose so we could extend our watering cans so it would be much easier to fill the vans from now on. So this is Kathleen and Vincent's gorgeous home and we've been sat here this morning having coffee in this lovely, like, a conservatory, isn't it? Just a balcony, we put some windows on it, it's a front balcony, so it just looks like a conservatory. It's lovely. But it's, uh, yeah, it's really nice, we like it, yeah. It's really, really nice to have people calling to see us and it's a privilege to help you out on your way. Absolutely brilliant. We love it. Oh, so lovely. lovely having your you. Your hospitality has been wonderful. Absolutely lovely Thank you so having much, Kathleen. Oh, 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 oh. So after saying all our goodbyes, we then headed further south along the coast to another gorgeous little beach park up. But we've got to make the most of this because this will be the last time we're at the sea for quite a while as we're going to be heading into the mountains next. So just whilst I'm waiting for Sandra to pop round for our evening drink, I thought I'd pour myself a quick one. And whilst I'm doing this, I just want to say a massive thank you to this week's pirate crew. Thank you for everything you do. And this is a bit of a tropical drink. It's white rum and a knockoff Fanta copy. So we've made it to this lovely little park up here and this is the last time we're going to be near the sea for a while because we're going to be heading up into the mountains. So I'm really looking forward to that. I'm drinking here tonight. This is um, it's a white rum, and this is what Vincent got me. It's a big bottle, so thank you, Vincent. And he also gave me his floppy hose, so that's going to solve all our water problems from now on. Oh. That's going to be fantastic because yeah. it's been I've, it's been a hard couple of days trying to sort out water and everything, but now we're all full. Oh, I've got an update for you. That police incident a few days ago, a friend of ours that we met at the time, they Instagrammed us and told us the police were there because they were removing an old caravan. I've actually got that caravan on my GoPro because we were panicking, weren't we? Yeah, yeah, thought yeah. we'd been naughty. Yeah, I thought we'd Not been like naughty. Us. Yeah, and we're never naughty. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to leave the video there. So next week you're going to see us, hopefully, in the mountains. Yeah, high Ooh. up. Hi up. Woohoo! Yeah, so if you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. But before I go, just a massive thank you to all my patrons. And also thanks to the new patrons, which are Mobile Mike, Ashley Gray Rowden, and Lizzie and Mike. Thanks so much, guys. Anyway, that's it. So please take care, stay safe, and I'll see you next week in the mountains. Oh.